think we I think we should be live. We are live. Hey, let me know if you guys can hear me. Tap the screen if you can hear me. We were having some microphone problems earlier. You can hear me? Tap the screen if you guys can hear me. Good? Either comment or tap the screen if you can hear me. Sorry. No problem, buddy. All good. Cool. Jonathan, I think they can hear us, man. Uh, they, that's it. I can hear you now. Excellent, man. So cool, brother. So you, you're hosting this event tonight. I'm honored to be the speaker. Cool. So uh, what motivated you to start this event tonight? Thank you. Thank you. So uh, what motivated me to, to host this event tonight? Um, one of the things that we're doing tonight, if you guys uh, aren't aware of the theme, is uh, we're having a... a, a Cigars Welcome Whiskey event. Yeah, I should know. I've been promoting it all week, and I'm, I'm thinking my brain is fried. But uh, one of the things that we, we tie this event to is Cigars for Warriors. And uh, as, as a Marine guy back here, I, I, he knows what it's like to, to serve his country. And, uh, you know, you I want to know I, where we're located. Uh, we're in, we're in uh, Westmont at the Humidor. So if you guys are in the area, come on out. Uh, Let's get go Kim. Kim Orla says hi. Oh, nice. Hi, Kim. Uh, we're going to be getting started here pretty soon. Um, but what motivated me, so I uh, unfortunately wasn't able to, to take on a military career like I had wanted to. Uh, my parents kind of didn't want me to, but I, I knew I wanted to help people. I didn't know what dynamic it was going to be. Uh, originally, I have a, a government background. I did eight years uh, with the Department of Homeland Security. And uh, you know, when I got introduced to Matt, I, I took on this entrepreneurial personal finance uh, role. They say you're a cutie. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure. Never mind. I'll be nice. <laughs> Ron Steve Grace says hello. Hey, Ron. Um, so one of the things that that I got passionate about was was helping people. And I didn't know what dynamic it was going to be. To be honest, I thought it was going to be a gun on my waist. I thought I was going to be running into burning buildings. I thought I was going to be wearing a military uniform. Um, but wildly enough, I was called into business. I was called into to helping people with their personal finance, and I fell in love with it. I fell in love with what we do for families, how uh, we paint a picture of, of clarity, whether it's uh, getting them out of debt, showing them how to pay their, their mortgage on time and in full, um, whatever the case may be, if it's a financial conversation, we can have it. And uh, it just gives me such joy and passion to just give people financial certainty. And that's what's really going on here tonight. And uh, yeah. one of the, the <clears throat> markets that we serve, which uh, unfortunately uh, most financial firms don't, is the, the middle class so you know we get our message to bring the top wealthy concepts of the the one to five percent down to the to the 95 to the common show right exactly to the awesome thank yeah. you appreciate you bro thanks for hosting us tonight man you got it looking forward to uh, some handshakes connections and networking baby absolutely so, so if you're in a periscope world and you're in the area come on by somebody says they wish you were their teacher <laughs> <laughs> well, you, need to, you need to find Jonathan Diaz work that somebody says howdy uh, where can they find you bro if you guys want to connect with me you can connect with me on Facebook Jonathan Diaz look me up uh, right now it's it's this picture I'll, I'll be putting my, my mug back on right there here. So this really is it, soon right here there it is. That's, that's Jonathan Jonathan Diaz right there my that's uh, my profile Diaz. picture right now uh, so you can connect with me on Facebook or uh, shoot me an email if you want to connect at uh, jonathan.diaz at livingmoneysmart.com. Cool. Yeah. Uh, Caesar wants to know if we can go camping later. <laughs> <laughs> Tell him he's got to pitch the tent. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Tim, hi. Appreciate Thank you, Jonathan. You. Next week. Thanks, man. Thanks for hosting this event tonight. Cool. Uh, Troy, we're blocking you, buddy. Blocked. Yeah, you can you can walk. But ladies, 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 ladies. By the way, okay, we got we got the Mac, we got the Mac makeup artist extraordinary, and we got Honda in the house. Hi. So, ladies, they, they love you. Look at that on the hearts, right? <laughs> so, what motivated you to come here tonight to the cigars, wealth, and whiskey event? Uh, we came to support Jonathan Diaz um, to see what this whole business is yeah. about. Nice, excellent, good networking. Yes. Honda dealerships in the house. What was your name again? Angie. The Angie. Yeah. Yes. Is she like? Oh, she's a makeup artist. She's a camera shot. <laughs> you belong on camera. No, but you belong on camera. Look at this. Look, look, look at all the hearts flying. So what's that? Look. It's live. It's live. It's live on Periscope. 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 All right. So. Questions. Your questions. I want to answer your questions about um, about uh, personal finance, entrepreneurship. What's some of the questions you guys got? While we're, enjo we're enjoying this um, 
Camacho Camacho cigar. But this is let me introduce you to Joanna real quick. So Joanna. This is Joanna. Say hi Joanna. Hi, all right, look at all the hearts flying for you. <laughs> so so what what motivated you to come out tonight? You're an entrepreneur. Why are you out today tonight? Being around great people and learning a lot and growing uh, my business. Nice, very good. By the way, you're, uh, you're hosting an event in a couple of weeks, right? Yes, two weeks from now on March 23rd, uh, a wine and wealth event. Um, come up and check us out uh, on the corner of North Avenue and Pulaski. Nice, very good. North Avenue and Pulaski, yeah? Very yeah. good, excellent. Thank you, Joanna. Awesome. Cool. So we've got all sorts of people here connecting tonight, making connections. Uh, they, say, they say where? What, what's, what's the name of the event? I'll this, get the address right now. If you follow me on Twitter at Money Smart Guy, I'll make sure I post. She's got a nice invitation here. Yeah, show us the picture. Show us the picture for that event. You get a chance. She's hosting a women wine and women wine and wealth event uh, a couple Wednesdays from now on the 23rd in Chicago, North Avenue in Pulaski. There it is. Wow. So look for this. Look for this flyer. I'm gonna post it on my Twitter at Money Smart Guy. Make sure you guys connect. Come out. Have a good time. Like-minded individuals connecting, collaborating, doing some big things, right? Yes. Cool. Excellent. Thanks, Joanna. Thank you. All right. Any events in the southwest suburbs? Um, we might. We might. Make sure you connect with us at MikeSmartGuy.com and um, the Vets House. <laughs> cool. All right. Hey, how are you? Huh? I do it. Yes. Entrepreneur, entrepreneurs right here. Say hi, ladies. Hey, right. Hi. So what's uh, look at all the hearts flying? What 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 motivated you to come out tonight, ladies? What motivated you to come out? First of all, I've never been anywhere where I've, I can sit with people who are smoking cigars so I can watch. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> right. How smooth can we be? Trees, what you come out tonight? I came out for the support. These are my homies, my partners, and I got some guests of my own that are coming as well. Nice. So, yeah. Awesome. <laughs> awesome. Yes, this is my aunt. It's Auntie. Auntie. It's Auntie, Auntie Sheila. Auntie, Auntie Sheila. That's awesome. You got family here, and we're gonna be smoking cigars. You don't inhale cigars. You just. You, you don't inhale. You, you, you keep it. You keep it on the outside. You're like. <laughs> right for the taste. Cool. Oh. What's up, Rosie? How you doing? Yeah, it was Matrice. So we're doing some donations tonight for the uh, boom, cigars for warrior donations. So um, we got a couple specials that we here about twenty-five dollars worth of cigars. Uh, a couple cigars go overseas to Afghanistan to some of my boys in Afghanistan. Um, about, people buy fifty dollars of cigars. Another three cigars get thrown in the box. So guys, are going to buy two for themselves. Three get shipped overseas. A seventy-dollar pack. Matter of fact, let me show you. Let me show you what's uh this is the uh this is the uh, human oil. what's going on paul yeah. Yeah. your uh, your cousin come out tonight yeah she coming out tonight and uh, oh, no she's not coming here gotcha yeah. got, yeah. got, yeah. got, got a client cool yeah. man this is paul what's going on paul how you doing good networking tonight man cool <laughs> all right so <clears throat> let me uh this is the humidor of westmont illinois humidor, westmont. let me flip this around go and check this out Right. There's a, let me let me uh, let me show you. Let me. Oh, I can't I can't go in there. Cause I got I got a cigar, but I can't go in there. But this is the humidor. Great selection. Davidoff. That was a couple of my first favorite cigars right there. Davidoff line. Some Camachos. That's what I'm smoking right now. I'm smoking those Camachos. They got their own line of cigars made by Great Cliff right over there. I'm selling. I'm selling this like I work here. But uh, <laughs> uh, they got some um, some Ashtons over there in the corner. I don't know if you guys like Ashton cigars, but these are kind of like the Mercedes Benz. BMWs of, uh, of cigars right here. So this, this is a humidor. This is where all people put their uh, enclosure to keep the, the cigars um, fit for consumption. Right? A couple spots here. Pretty nice lighters. I got me a couple of these uh, Lamborghini lighters. Pretty soon I'll get a Lamborghini car instead of, instead of just a Lamborghini lighter. But a uh, pretty cool spot here. If you guys like shaving, you got some shaving gear here too as well. It's a pretty cool spot, man. So kind of like a little hangout. Right. Well, this is a pretty nice spot. You guys should come out here. Cumador. Tim, 
Hey, this is my man Timmy. You're, you're live on Periscope. You're live streaming, man. Everybody. Welcome to the humidor. Yes. So uh, tell tell people here that's tuning in a little bit about the humidor, man. Look, this is just a place where you can come buy a cigar, relax in the lounges, sit, have a drink, watch the game, get away from everything, and truly relax. You get a lot of love here, man. A lot of people are tapping the screen, see all the, all, the, all, the, all those hearts flying. They, they love you, man. They love you. <laughs> I'll show I'll show you guys around. Oh, this is Caesar. What's going on, Caesar? Caesar, Caesar, Caesar basically said the way Trump is going on right now, he's going to take over the Republican Party. That's right. Look at him. Look at him. He's all suited and booted. You, you should vote for Caesar. <laughs> oh, man. You are so blocked. All right. But anyway, somebody's freaking stupid. But anyway, I blocked him. I love, I love the fact I find out how to block people now. But the Caesar, man, why are you out here tonight? Man, I'm out here uh, supporting a good boss. Yeah. Right. I um, actually have one of my friends out in Afghanistan. His name is Abel Diaz, and uh, I'm here, man, to support him and send some cigars out there because I heard your story, and you told me that a cigar brought your morale up, right? Yeah. And that's the reason why I'm here. Nice, Megan. That's all. Networking and at the same time supporting the good cause, increasing the morale right. of troops overseas. Proud of you, big dog. Right. All right, man. Right. Cool. So here's uh, where our events going. Oh, excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Ah. Uh, so, for my man Wood Dog. Ma Maria, yes, Maria, he runs our uh, Chicago. This is Rudy Ortiz. The only thing you can see right now, Rudy, is a jacket. It's, he's, it's so dark. Yeah, smile. Rudy's probably the darkest Puerto Rican you ever come across, but also one of the most uh, highest in cash flow. <laughs> So what's going on, Rudolph? What, what's, what's life like at being as an entrepreneur, man? By the way, t tell people about your story real quick. About uh, getting laid off and all the good Well, uh, you know... <laughs> so, um, I worked for the state. I was the deputy director of the Business Enterprise Program for the state of Illinois. And, um, hey, bro, do you know Pablo Yosari from, from uh, Church of New Life? Yeah. He just tuned in. He's from St. Augustine, Florida now. Life, yes, yes. Yeah. Good to see you, brother. Good to see you, man. That's awesome. Uh, I didn't know he moved to Florida. Yeah. That's great. Man, dude, we need to talk. We need to talk. We need to expand in Florida, man. Uh, that's a great area. Good people out there. Uh, Rose, Rose is laughing because when she taps the screen, the hearts are brown. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, yeah, so I used to uh, help the state, and, uh, you know, I was very small businesses and I don't know if you guys know this but 51% of people are employed by small businesses so when you can help a small business grow and, and cash flow you know the profits are going to regular people's pockets where they can pay their bills they can send their kids to college they can put it in their retirement it's not going to some corporate fat cats golden parachute retirement fund if you know what I mean so uh, I was very excited you know like most state and government jobs there's a lot of politics a lot of backdoor stuff that's happening and uh that was the wall that i ran into and um you know it, it just became a, a dreadful thing and then i was stuck there and uh, thankfully you know my boy here matt reached out to me he says to me hey rudy i know three things about you man i know you like to help make a ton of money and I know you hate bosses you don't like to be told what to do you don't like any other man to tell you when you can come and when you can go he goes uh, why don't you come here because I think there's a good place for you to, to do all of those things that help me out as well here and sure enough I came out to uh, an overview and I fell in love with the company I fell in love with what we do I fell in love with our message and our crusade of saving middle-class America and being able to own our future and being able to create a future for ourselves and our families and I've uh, been here ever since, and it's been the best decision that I've ever made. You know, we've been able to travel the world, we've been able to uh, live a good quality life, and, and share that opportunity with other people that have big hopes, big dreams, big goals. And so, that's really what it's all about. So, you know, that's what I, do. I encourage you, connect with Matt, connect with myself and other people here. We'd love to see if maybe you're a good fit for us. You know, we're always looking for good quality people that like to help other people, but they have big goals and big dreams. You know that that uh, that want to do big things with their life and make an impact. You know, one of our mentors asked us a question uh, a few months ago. We were at an event, and it it really impacted my life very deeply. He asked about a hundred people. And he said, "Your grandfather," and uh, you know, and everybody. I don't remember. 
father was. And he says, you know, most people don't remember their great great grandfather. They might know might know their great grandfather, but very few people know who their great great grandfather was and let alone what they did. And he goes, Our goal is to be the one that our great great grandchildren remember. Not only do they remember, but that they can walk up to people and say, Listen, my because of my great great grandfather and because of the decisions that he made and the that he chose to be, it's because I have this opportunity today to be the person that I am and to live the life that I'm living today. And so, you know, that really because that's a type of my life. I want to be able to, to leave a legacy where a hundred years, two hundred years from now, people are still freedom to me, but because I made that type of impact in my community, in my family, in my society. So, so Listen, we'd love to have for everybody. We're looking for high sharp people that, that want to win big, that want to have those type of dreams and goals. And so if that's you, reach out to us. We'd love to have that conversation. We're always looking for sharp people and we're looking to expand all over the world and, and build a big empire where we're serving in our lives in the process. So hopefully I get to see you soon. All right. It's a hard fly for you, bro. Love it. Love you, babe. I promise I'll be easy with him on the camping. I'll be easy tonight on the camping. But it's time to fill up over here. Rosie, Rosie, Rosie says I love you too, bro. Rosie says I love you too. Becky, what's up, Bex? Becky in the house. All right. So it looks like we're going to get started here in a minute. Then we're going to talk about the five gotchas of money. Do you know the five gotchas of money? Well, we're going to be talking about the five gotchas of money. Uh, matter of fact, I think we're going to do a vlog, a quick video about the five gotchas of money so everybody can, can hear that content about how to make sure you make money in this country, how to double triple your income in the next 20, 12 to 24 months, how to get some financial altitude about all the financial problems that's happening in America today. So to help people get out of debt, to help people uh, fix this retirement and social security issue. That we got going on today. All these politicians are debating about. I was listening to all the different polls and what some of the major issues that people are talking about. Jobs is one thing. Jobs is a major issue. The second issue that people are looking for is retirement and financial security, and financial peace of mind, and just getting ahead in this country. And, uh, and with that being said, I, we want to help more people uh, get some awareness and education on how to, how to make that happen. Because, um, listen, I was a United States brain, $15,000 in credit card debt, and somebody opened the door to me about education, about personal finance, education about entrepreneurship, and it changed my life forever. I've been an entrepreneur now for 17 years, and, and um, you know, for other periscopes, I talk about a little bit more in detail. But oh, we got the pizzas here now too. We got some food. Cool. We got the food now, so we'll definitely be going. But please connect with us at MoneySmartGuy.com. Connect with me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Blab here in Periscope too as well at Money Smart Guy. Thanks for tuning in. For those of you who are, are liking and sharing, appreciate that very much. That being said, everybody, until we meet again, continue to live smart, continue to love smart, and be money smart today. Have a good night, and uh, maybe we'll uh, periscope later on. Five gotchas of money.